All right, if you want to be a truck driver, where do you, where do you start? What do you, what's the process here at night? Well, the best way to do it is if you walk into the facility here, I'm just going to, you know, ask you uh, to go to my dot, or, or not my dot, it's, it's drivenight.com. You have to fill out the application first on there, and then a recruiter will get in contact with you and schedule you. Go, swag, coming, three, two, one. Ow. This right here is my swag. All the boys all on me, damn. Everybody pay attention. All right, if you want to be a truck driver, where do you, where do you start? What do you, what's the process here at night? Well, the best way to do it is if you walk into the facility here, I'm just going to, you know, ask you uh, to go to my dot, or, or not my dot, it's, it's drivenight.com. You have to fill out the application first on there, and then a recruiter will get in contact with you and schedule you for the DQP process. Now, with the application, um, do, you, do you do, what do you look for in, in the application? Uh, that would be up to the recruiter. I don't know what they're looking for. Okay. I know some maybe five years experience, something like that. I, I don't know what all the recruiter looks for. Okay. So that would be between you and the recruiter when you applied and they contacted you. Do you know what disqualifies you? Uh, no, I don't know that either because okay. that's something that's done through all the, the background recruiter. checks and everything else that once they see your application online, they start checking things before they even invite you. So certain things would disqualify you from not even being invited. And certain things, once you meet those criteria, they're going to send you an invite to come to this process. Okay. And then you get invited. What happens next? But normally that you're put on a schedule to show up uh, in the DQP process. Uh, most of them start on Monday, I believe. And my process usually lasts about three days here, and usually I'm hiring drivers on Thursday. And what does DQP stand for? Driver qualification process. Is it like orientation? It's not orientation. It's driver qualification process. Because understand, in this industry... Um, you're just not automatically giving keys to a truck. You have to qualify to work for a trucking company, and this is the way night sees it. You have to qualify for passing a DOT drug screen. You have to qualify by passing a DOT physical, and you have to qualify by passing our road test. Those are three items that you're going to be given when you get to the facility to start DQP. Okay, and you said the drug screen. What do what do you screen? Um, do you do hair and urine, or just yes, hair? Yes, we do. We do urine and hair. The hair test is a non-federal test. The urine test is a federal test. So it, it will be sent to the Department of Transportation. Any results uh, will be sent to the, the Department of Transportation. The hair test is done internally by night transportation only, uh, and then we keep those results to our our personal information. How far do you go back on the drug test? It depends. Usually six months to a year on the hair. Okay. And then you do the medical exam. What what consists of the medical exam? Uh, just whatever entails a DOT physical. Uh, okay. There's there's the physical part of it. Uh, they're going to do a physical examination of the patient, and then they're also going to do uh, a functionality exam where you have to lift some weights and carry it around and stuff like that to make sure possibly if you have to unload the truck, you can. Uh, we're about 90, 95% no-touch freight, but we do have some loads that might have to be unloaded. So this functionality exam is, is an exam, you know, showing that you could possibly unload the truck. And then there's also a stop bang exam uh, that, that's included into this, and that stop bang exam will determine um, uh, body mass index. Uh, the body mass index will indicate whether you possibly might have to uh, go through a sleep study before you can come to work for us. Okay, and then do you have the driver, you said the road test? Yes, the road test will be done through our facility here. Okay, and is the DQP process paid for? Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, uh, it is. We pay for the hotel for the applicant to stay if they're from a distance. If they're driving back and forth, they will be uh, uh, between the recruiter and them. However, they get reimbursed for whatever they do. It's between the recruiter and the applicant. Okay. That's different because in Phoenix, they didn't. Well, no, I did my DQP in Vegas. I think I'm Squire. Uh, it's different for California, though. Oh, yeah, because you guys have different rules and laws yes, and stuff. Yes, we have different rules in California, so. We have to okay. go abide by all those rules. What makes Knight different than all the other companies? In my own opinion, uh, I've been here a little over almost uh, six and a half, going on seven years. I did drive for Knight. Uh, I'm in this position now because they look for me. I wasn't looking for them. Uh, what makes us different from anybody else is the driver friendliness that they have here. Uh, they're willing to listen to the driver as long as you communicate to, you know, the proper people. Uh, if you're having issues, we can get get it straightened out by any kind of kind of conversation. 
Uh, we're non force dispatch, so if you don't want to take the load, you, you don't have to. That's part of our driver friendliness. Uh, we are, uh, we do force production. You have to be productive, so if you're not going to be productive, then we'll possibly ask you to remove your belongings from the truck and we'll keep the truck productive. But those are the things I like about night. Okay, and what's your name? My name's Mike. Mike, this is Mike at Solari. He is DQP uh, facilitator. Facilitator. I wear many hats. I help all drivers that walk in. It doesn't matter what they what they want when I come in. I'll help them out best I can. Well, I hope this video has helped you guys out um, answer some of your questions as far as the first process, um, getting ready to drive for night transportation. And before I let you go, you do have to have a permit, correct? Yes. If you're coming, if you're coming in to get a a CDL through night transportation, you will have to have your permit first uh, before you come here. You'll go through our process here. It's only one day. You'll get your, uh, I'll get a copy of your permit, a few other items I might need from you to send to your recruiter. Um, also, we'll do your DOT physical and we'll do a drug screen also on you, uh, but we won't red to road test you because uh, you know, you don't only have a permit, not a license. You have very little to no experience. If you already do have a CDL, do you still go through the DQP? That depends on your experience. I think they go back uh, six months, I believe. If you have over six months, we can seat you in a truck solo as long as you qualify. Okay, you have to qualify by doing the pit road test, physical drug screen, uh, anything under six months. I do believe we require some kind of training. Uh, usually it'll be some modified training if you have a little bit of experience. Uh, if you have no experience, there's a Squire program. We put you through a four-week training process with a trainer. All right. Well, thank you, Mike, for talking to the viewers. All right. Thank you.